Yeah, uh, and now uh, we need to add the login functionality to our next app. Uh, the, the basically, add uh, the login handler uh, to, to send the post request to the login backend. Uh, then we need to uh, use a set universal from next as uh, set this uh, the user email to the local storage and to the store. Uh, then store the tokens in the local storage and test it quickly. So basically, uh, we are going to do some login and uh, a sto store action, storing uh, the uh, tokens and the email of the user in the local storage uh, the using the um, next else package. Uh, basically, we need to go to um, the login handler. As you remember, we have this click event on this button. And when somebody clicks to the this, uh, button, the login handler function will fire up. And now it's time. Uh, so we are going to still to console log this. But uh, the main thing that we need to do here is to send the post request to the slash uh, login endpoint. Uh, we are going. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, like open this try and um, catch. Where is the catch? Right. Oops. Um, try and this catch. Now oh, it's not. There is no auto complete. And uh, I'm going just to console this um, this error message message. Right. Uh, so. Const response should be equal to um, uh, this statement here. So what happened here? We are going to use this dollar uh, uh, login with uh, method, uh, which is uh, came from uh, came from the next else uh, package, and uh, the, this local thing here in uh, string is just uh, the strategy name. So we are using this as local strategy name uh, and do the login uh, with this local uh, with past uh, data so i'm going to rename this uh, login to data and uh, so uh, what, what happened what will happen here so in, if you remember that in max config js file uh, under the strategies we have this endpoints and we define this login endpoint as a slash login and the Axios base URL as our uh, backends API uh, slash v1. So uh, effectively, it's equal that it will send the post request to this base URL plus our slash login endpoint. And the uh, active method is a post. Um, then, if uh, everything is well, uh, everything is good. Uh, we need to uh, call this this as uh, storage and set universal uh, as an email and the uh, response data email. So as you remember from the backend side, we have returned this uh, data as a response object, and inside this we have uh, this email. Uh, same applies uh, to the uh, to the uh, to storing the local storage our tokens. So. Uh, in Nuxthouse, there is a built-in method set user token, uh, and you can await it with response data x access token and response data refresh token. And due to the fact that we have defined the local storage, enabled the local storage, and passed uh, uh, in, and named this uh, access token as access token, the property is an access token, with this, uh, which is sent back to us by. Um, by 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 from the backend as a name of access token. So we have already defined it, and the same applies to the refresh token. And uh, that means that uh, when you get this uh, set a user token with the first access token and then the refresh token, it will uh, set the user token to these tokens and will store it in the local storage. And uh, basically, this is the uh, login action uh, for now. Uh, we will uh, handle it uh, if something goes wrong and do something, something, uh, some sort of other things. But still, let's just. Um, I'm going to quickly the console console log also the uh, response object and let's see if if it will work. So just if 
we enable oh drop something wrong <laughs> because yeah we are evading uh, we need to do this uh, login handler as a async function yeah nice it works let's just go ahead and quickly we have this login and let's just bring our uh, um, user here oops 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 uh, I get. I can't even like copy. Oops, copy it. Um. Mm -hmm. And password. Let's just go to the network first and clear it up. Do the login. Nothing happened. Why? Cannot read property login with of undefined. Nice. What happened with our mm, with our right? There is it something like with wrong with our maxed out package? I assume that uh, we can maybe it's to 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 the store. Maybe like we can we need to add some index js here. Let's do. Because the documentation says that it, it need be need to be activated prior to usage, but I'm not sure that uh, this can affect us. Let's just quickly try to fix it. No. Um, right. And send the login. Cannot read property. It's still there is error with our. Uh, mm -hmm. Login with. Uh, what happened here? I don't. I don't know. Even. Max files generated. Let's just rerun our app quickly. Mm -hmm. And everything is good with uh, with actual configs for our us. Uh, I don't remember that. We need to add this. To the modules, or let's just quickly read uh, the documentation. If, 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 mm. yes, we need to add this uh, Max.js also next to the modules, which yeah we have omitted it. Oh, I bet, and that should work now. Let's just wait a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh retesting. Cleaning it a bit login. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Oops. Um like it should do the trick. Something happened. So uh, yeah, basically we had uh, uh, we had an error like indicating uh, there is no endpoint endpoint API v1 user. Uh, that's due to the fact that we have uh, in our uh, authentication settings we have this uh, slash user method with a get method uh, slash user endpoint with a get method. Uh, what uh, what next us tried to do here if uh, everything successfully goes and we did a login it, it tries to fetch the user information from the slash user endpoint but still i believe that we had uh, stored this um, stored this uh, information information in the local storage yes as you see uh, we have already set our access token and also the refresh token um, I, and the local storage. Uh, the thing we missed here is like uh, I can't see the set universal email. Maybe it's because it's because we uh, got this error uh, with um, four on four here. Uh, that means that we need to implement the API v1 slash users, uh, especially uh, with a get a get method. Uh, to get the user information to the uh, front end side, so this should be implemented in the on the back end, 
but uh, still we are able to get the tokens from the backend and store in the uh, local storage uh, with the uh, with the help of this uh, set user set user token. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. See you in the next video where we try to implement this slash user endpoint. Bye.